Hey guys, um, today we'll be doing a tutorial on something that has been highly requested. Um, you guys have been asking for a tutorial on Keshi's uh, Understand uh, cover that I did a couple months ago and also a year ago. Um, but for today, we'll be doing the tutorial in the original key of the song. And we'll be doing this tutorial in sections. Um, we'll be starting off with the intro and the verse and also the main chorus and outro of the song. So we'll start it off with the intro. So for the first part of this tutorial, we'll, we will be doing the intro. And for every section of this tutorial, I will start off by playing the entire part of it. So in this case, I will play the entire intro. Um, and then we, we will dissect um, how I approach the chords and uh, the stylistic point of the song. So let me just play this real quick. So that's basically the whole intro. Um, you can take that uh, in any way you want in terms of like how fast, how slow you want it to be, um, how loud, how quiet you want it to be. That's all on you. But for me, um, for me, I have a left pedal. And y if you don't know what that does, it basically just softens or adds like a felt uh, on the piano, which, is which softens the sound. Um, so for me, the intro is kind of like um, a setting tone uh, for this entire song. Um, especially in the beginning where it's just all, you know, calm and collected, uh, type of feeling. But, um, uh, in terms of the chords, uh, so we got seven chords in total in the entire intro. First chord is this F chord right here. Um, we got an F, C, and I'm playing a G and an A. And this G and A... Uh, will, will be played at the same time as my right hand. And then my right hand, I have a C, E, A. Next chord, we have an A minor 7. And it's the same concept as the last chord. Uh, we have like arpeggio style on the left hand. Um, a, E, A. And this A will be played at the same time as the right hand, which is a C, E, G, and a C. The next chord we have is a C diminish. Um, C sharp, G, B flat, E, B flat, C sharp, E. And for this chord and the next chord, there's a there's this little notes that I do at the very end after the right hand block chord. Um, and in this case, I played a G again on my left hand. Um, and the reason why is um, you kind of don't want to play the same way as the first two chords where it's just kind of like a one solid feel. So the way I connected it is by finding a note that is uh, in common between the two chords, which is in this case for the C diminished. This connects to the D minor that's upcoming. So. is D minor 7 actually. So we have D, A, C, and then the C is uh, played at the same time as my right hand, so F, A, C, F. Um, and for the connecting note, uh, for this uh, chord, will be this A that I play on my right hand. So for the first four chords, we have this. Right. Uh, the next couple chords is kind of a little tricky, but uh, it's kind of the same concept as we had for the first four chords. So D minor. The next chord is a G minor seven. This is what that little melody that the guitar does in the actual song. So on my left hand, I have a G, all through G's, and then uh, the. The chord I do right here, B flat, D, F, is connected with my right hand 
uh, which is an A D F A. So we got the so again we have the G octaves. Right. So this is the last note of that chord, or last notes of those of that chord. Then the little melody is. That's a little melody that the, that the guitar does in the actual song. So. And then the next chord is a C6 that will transition into a C diminished. Uh, so that C6 is a C, G, B flat. And that B flat is played at the same time as this E, A, D on my right hand. So. And then to transition to the C diminished, I play the G as my very last note to transition into that. So, and for that C diminished, it's the same notes on both hands. So it's an E, a G, B flat, and a C sharp. So, and again, I'll play this whole intro very slowly. Uh, and and obviously, what I'm teaching you right now is. Uh, is what I'm playing right now. Every time I'm playing the intro, it's not gonna be the same. I uh like the same notes, um all the time, but it's that it's really that that same concept, um, uh that that goes on throughout this entire song. It's in other piano covers that I do, it's all about the concept. It's not really about like, you know, um, having to really think a lot about the notes, uh, like playing the exact notes every time. So for this intro, so. that's basically the whole intro just seven chords it's really the same concept and to take it to a, uh, another notch obviously you add dynamics uh, which is probably the most important thing of this song uh, not just the intro but the entire song dynamics um, and you can start fooling around with some of the voicings of each of the chords um, and that will definitely elevate um, any song you play it's just knowing different types of voicings and stuff like that but that's basically the whole intro and let's move on to the verses of this song so next section is the verses and i won't be covering both verse one and verse two in this tutorial because they're just technically structured the same way um but yeah i'll just do uh one section for this but in terms of the verses uh uh if you if you've heard the song enough the chords are the exact same in the verses as it is in the intro. So if you play the left hand how you would normally play in the intro for the verses, it's totally fine. I think it works. Uh, but this time, you just got to be able to mix it well with the main melody that you will be playing with your right hand. And also, um, if you're well experienced, uh, if you're playing the melody with a bunch of chord values as well, uh, you got to be able to mesh that together uh, very well but this is how i would play the verse uh of this song So it's the same chords, um, those same like six, seven chords uh, played for the verses just twice. Um, that F, A minor, C diminished. It's just played twice in the verses. Uh, the only difference now is that we gotta learn the main melody. So let's just stick with our right hand only. So never thought is never thought right that the one in my life and 
and I always mess up that part. Uh, life would be so near. Um, however you want to play that part, just know it's. Where my life would be so near, and now you're here, right? And then we mix that together, right? So it's. So it's G A A. the F7, I have C, or F, C, G, A, and in my right hand I have a C, E, so never thought that I find, so we got an A, E, A, and a C, E, and notice that, um, for that line, so that last note, right, is uh, really the starting point of how to, uh, of the left hand coming in, and then that I find same concept that the one, so C C E, C sharp, G B flat. Right, that the one, so never thought. In my life, so D, E, F. So back to that the one. D minor seven chord, D A C, and then on top I have a it's it's the main melody that goes down to uh, the word near. Would be so near. So once it reaches the word near is when we play that G minor seven chord. It's kind of weird. So it's like a so. The near is on the right hand, the note C, but on the left hand, we just start with a G. And obviously that near goes from C to B flat, so remember that. And to end off that line, so it's G, D, F, and then I have this cluster chord right here, so it's G, A, B flat, C, D, F, A. I'm pretty sure. That the one in my life would be so near. Right? And then. Right. And the one in my life would be so near. And then, and now you're here. And now you're here. That's the seven chord I have. C, G, B flat, D, E, B flat. And then and to play that uh, flat nine, at the very end I play this D and then transition into that C sharp. So, so that whole first part. It's the same concept for the next couple lines. I got you, you got me, when it's us. Babe, you make me feel complete. And knowing that line is when it goes up, and that's the only difference between this part and the previous part. So when it's us, babe, you make me feel Make is on the D minor seven. When it's us, babe, you make me feel complete. So it's 
F G A F F. And to make it more dramatic, I add um I add the octaves to that part when it's us. Right, and it, it adds more like a dramatic feeling to that part. The word complete at the very end, I have this chord which is like a F, A, B flat, D, and then F, B flat, C, F. So when it's us, and then you're all I need, F, F, G, E. You're all I need. So this is the chord before I add the flat nine. So it's G, uh, C, G, B flat, E, A, D. And then uh, E, G, B flat, C sharp. So in total, again, this is how you, uh, I'll, I'll play it very slowly. So that's basically the whole verse, and uh, and again, if you and if you uh, and if again, if you play, uh, if you're comfortable playing the I the left hand intro, it's kind of easy to play the verses of the song because it's the same concept. Um, but yeah, that that's basically it for this section of the verses. We'll move on to uh, the main chorus of the song. So for the next section. Um, We'll be doing the chorus of the song, and obviously it's be it's played twice in the actual song. Um, I will show you how it is being played the first time and the second time. Uh, but first, let me just play the whole chorus itself. the full chorus and now for the first time it's being played after you do the first chorus there's a little transition and that transition is basically the intro chords that we did um, so if you played the intro between the end of the chorus into verse 2 it works perfectly fine it's the same chord same concept um, and later I will discuss how uh, the second chorus is played and, and how it transitions into the outro but let's discuss how uh this chorus is being played so we got the the ooh line uh for for the chorus so ooh we have, i have a b flat f g in my right hand i have this octave g's and in between i have a c so but in my left hand to make it more interesting and to make it like feel like it's flowing um i add this little line at the very end so so b flat so it's B, F, G, and then B, f B flat, C, D, C. So, ooh, the first ooh. And it goes down one note. And it goes back up to uh, the G again for the second ooh. So, G, F, G. second ooh the only difference now is that the c that we played for the right hand is now moved up half a step so it's a c sharp right so ooh, f g the left hand is basically the same but this time instead of that doing that c d c thing It's B flat, 
F, G, B flat, C, and a C sharp. So we stick to that B flat minor seven chord. So the O line uh, in total will sound like this. And you can play that however you want. You can play it very slowly, make it more dramatic. It's really up to you and your interpretation. But that that's basically the O line. Let's continue from there. And then maybe. So we'll start from the maybe. So it's an A minor. So we have an A, E, A. And my right hand is doing a chord of a G, C, E, maybe. It's a rotation of the E's and F's right here. Maybe we can try if you let. Right? Maybe we can try. And then C, D, E flat. And the E flat is uh, connected with these notes right here. On the left end, I got D, F sharp, A, C, and then F sharp, C, E flat. And the E flat is on the word uh, let. So maybe we can try. And for that A minor, I'm also doing this. It's a really nice chord right here. Um, it's F sharp, A, C, D, E flat, F sharp. Uh, was it F sharp, A, and then D sharp. Let me, or just a D right here. So. line so take you by the hand take you by the hand the right hand is C B flat twice A and a B flat take you by the hand and then the left hand we got G G D F, G, B flat. And each note is for every word. Take you by the hand. Right. And then to transition into the you're the only one who understands, which is the next line. I play this D, F, D, F, your. This, this is the uh, this chord goes to the word your so C G B flat C sharp F G C you're the only one B flat a B flat So again, from the word your with that complex chord. You're the only one who understands. And this F chord right here, or understands the last syllable, is this F chord. And that F chord is uh, starting uh, basically the bridge, or not the bridge, the transition section to the verse two. And just follow the intro. That F in the intro is that F we just played for the last solo stands. So you're the only one who understands. That's the transition section to verse two. Um, but let's move on 
to how the second chorus is different and how it transitions into the outro. Now for the second chorus, um, the only difference is mainly in how it ends and transitions into the outro. Um, the whole concept of the chorus for the first time is the same for the second time. Uh, let's just pay attention to how it, how it transitions. So let's start off with the line, you're the only one who understands. So So, um, uh, you so F major seven. It's the same way how we put it in the intro. So F C G A, and on the right hand we have a C E A. C diminish, C sharp, G B flat, E B flat, C sharp E. Right hand played together. Right. D minor seven. D A C. And then. And then the C plays along with the right hand. So F A C F. So the first three. After that D minor seven, we go straight into this octave where we just create this dramatic effect. So, and I play these Fs so that it transitions into those octaves easier for me. And then the octaves we have here are on the right, on the left hand D, and on the right hand we have double F sharps. And I have the D in the middle as well over here. So the next octave is E on double E's on the left, and then I have two G's, and then um, I do this little grace note thing with the C and D. So pretend you're playing the C with the G's, and then quickly just go to that, uh, quickly go to the the, the D note right here. And it takes practice, but if you want to make it simple, just do this note right here. And then the next octave we have is double F sharps. And then on the right hand, we have two A's. Uh, played with that is the D. And then I do the grace note thing concept uh, and go to the E. But if you want to make it uh, easier, it will be... Just keep it the same note D in the middle for all those octaves. You want to make it easier for yourself. Uh, so easier. Grace note. And then to the ooh. Right? Full chord. You want this to be dramatic as possible. G, D, G, B flat, D, F, B flat. So I'll play those octaves again from the, I'll, I'll start from the you're the only one who understands and then we'll do the octaves.
right hand G C sharp G and then and then it's another set of ooze right and then B flat and then B flat minor seven um, and the outro is basically the the, the main chorus again um, how it starts off so ooh Right, so that's basically how the second chorus is being played, and maybe the way I'm 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 speaking through a little bit faster for the second chorus, um, I was just hoping that you, um, were able to grasp how, uh, we played the main chorus for the first time. So obviously I went faster for the second time, but if you want to check that out again, just go back to that section. But now we'll be focusing on the outro and how we're gonna calm down and change the style of this one a bit. And now for the final part of this tutorial, we'll be talking about the outro. And we already have built all this dramatic effect uh, from the previous chorus by doing the octaves. <laughs> and now the outro, this is where the main outro starts. This is where we have to calm down uh, with the ooze again. It's basically the chorus being played again uh, for the outro. Now this this is the where this is where it, it changes up. So you're the only one. You really want to emphasize this the part that says who understands. So I, what I do is uh, octaves. It could be anywhere, uh, but for me, I think reasonable is like here or here. So uh, you're the only one. Uh, let's try it right here. Octaves right here. F, E, F, A. So you're the only one. Let's do that. Let's, actually, I prefer it up here. not one solo chord for that very last note it's like an arpeggio uh style of uh thing at the end but in terms of this whole song it's really it's really up to your interpretation um this is just simply how i would play it. and obviously this is kind of like the, the the simpler way of playing it uh for this tutorial um for me i try to add um a lot of different passing tones and a lot of different chord values to my right hand uh, to make it sound more interesting and sound more intricate, uh, that's just the way. How, that's just how I would play this song. But uh, for for you guys watching, just do it the way you guys are comfortable of playing. Do what you're comfortable with. Um, you can make things more simpler for yourself, make it more complex, make it more interesting for yourself. It's really up to you and your interpretation. Uh, but hopefully, this tutorial helps out. And leave uh, leave any comments uh, for any uh, covers, any tutorials that you guys want to see from me. And besides that, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more upcoming videos.